travel stories, book reading videos, naraya informative one videos la varapodu. Adanala nama channel subscribe and watch konga. Kutis kla nama channel rumpu nala pariko. Adanala ninga subscribe panada nama channel la vara videos la ungalke teri. Notification ayo, bell button ayo, alti wajib bangga. Ini, na channel la pula stories, videos la ugal pucan dasa na like panengga, ugu friends oda kandi pas share panano. Thank you. Hi friends, today we are going to see the second chapter of the book Interested, Interesting Science Experiments. Chapter 2 Water Water is most essential to life. One can live without food for about two months, but one cannot live without water for as many days. It it is well known that 70% of Earth's surface is covered by sea. The amazing truth is that the amazing truth is that only 1% of Earth's water is available for drinking purpose. Water is useful to both mankind and animal life. Without water, no activity can be commenced. Water is second to oxygen as essential for the very survival of life. Water is mixture of two gases namely hydrogen and oxygen. The symbol of water is H2O. In usefulness, it, its usefulness is not just restricted to drinking. Drinking purposes but serves manif manifold purposes. It is a colorless liquid. Let us know the other purposes and behaviors of water by doing the following experiments. 1. Water evaporates. The process which makes water slowly turn into vapor on its own at the atmospheric temperature is called evaporation. In reservoir, the surface area of water is more. Water there evaporates due to atmospheric temperature that is solar heat. The ocean water evaporates and becomes clouds. The clouds that contains bring contains brings rain. Take three identical chaser plates. Keep them at the same place. Let each chaser be close to one another. Pour one spoonful of water, one spoonful of water in chaser number one. Two spoonful of water in chaser 2 chaser number 2 and 3 spoon of water in third chaser observe them at frequent interval after some time you would find that the chaser number 1 having 1 spoon of water gets emptied first followed by chaser number 2 with 2 spoon of water and finally the chaser number 3 having 3 spoonful of water. This experiment shows that the water gets emptied because of evaporation. Second experiment in water chapter. Second one. Effects of wind and heat on evaporation. Let us know what would be the effect of wind on evaporation. Air in motion is the wind. Take a blackboard, moist the two sides of the moist, moist the two sides of the uh, board. Blow air on one side from your mouth. Face the other side towards on fan, so that the air driven out by the fan falls on it. Observe. Which side of the board dries first? 
Naturally, the side of the, on which fan air is blown dries quickly. That this is the wind force makes the water particle to group go up and also other particles quickly goes up so that the moist portion dries up. Suppose you you tub, you rub the floor on your house and clean it with water. To see that the floor dries up early, you put fan, isn't it? Now, let us see the effect of heat on evaporation. Take two towel on same size. Dip them in water very well. See that the two sides of towel has absorbed small amount of water. Hang one towel under hot sun. Hang the other towel under the shade or on a rope. While you do this experiment, make sure that there is no blow of wind with the force. You have to select such a day for the experiment. Check, check which towel dries first. Naturally, the towel lying in the sun dries, dries up first. The molecules of water are carried away much sooner by the hot wind as the molecules of hot air move quicker than those of the cold air. Now let's move on to third chapter of experiments in water. Third chapter is water pollutes. The water we drink should be pure, free from pollution. If water gets polluted, it is not fit for drinking. The basic source of water are river and rivers and wells. River water gets polluted by waste expelled by the industries and excreted excretes of animals and birds. The smoke and exhaust of automobile contain gas contain gases like sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, nitrogen ox, nitrogen oxide. The gas combines with rainwater and results in acid rain. To know whether the water is polluted by acid rain or not, you do the following experiment. Take the tap water in a measuring jar. The tap water is the tap water is filtered water. Take water from river or pond in another jar. Dip litmus paper which is used first used for chemical test in these jars the tape water do not change the change the color of the litmus paper whereas the water in the other changes the color of the litmus paper into red thus the water is mixed with acid if the red litmus is changed into blue litmus then water is impure or polluted. Pollution causes a change in color of the litmus paper. It is sad state of affair to know that even the limited source of water supply is contaminated by chemicals, metals, microorganisms and other pollutants. Chapter 4 How Rain Drinks us a Huge Quantity of Water You know Water when evaporates become a vapor. The heat of such the heat of sun converts the water of rivers, streams and oceans into vapor due to evaporation. The evapor the, the evapor gets absorbed into the atmosphere. The evapor gets absorbed in the atmosphere as the air ascends and as it becomes colored, colder, the vapor present in it becomes tiny air. As the air descends and it becomes colder, the vapor present in it becomes tiny drop of water because of cold climate. The, and ultimately, a large collection of such water drops forms the cloud, become too heavy to withstand their own weight standing stand fall falling to the earth become too heavy to withstand their own weight start falling to the earth naturally there is there will be a huge quantity of water which 
if every one of us has experienced. The rain continues many times for us. To know the process where you need to do this experiment. Take a vessel and cover it with lid. See that there, see that there remains a little gap between the lid and the vessel for the excess of steam liberated. Boil the water till steam starts coming out. Take a few pieces of ice in the bowl and keep it on a stool kept, uh, kept a little far from the stove. The hot steam stick strikes the ice, the ice bits key, uh, kept in the bowl and gets converted into water drops due to condensation. When many such tiny drops combine and become too heavy to withstand their own weight, they fall to the ground. The rain falls in the same way. Chapter 5 Effect of Heat on the Volume of Water Take a glass flask, glass flask fitted with a cork in its mouth. Make a hole in the cork and insert a glass tube. Let there be water in the flask. Put one or two drop of any colored liquid on the water. Put a mark on the tube to denote the level of the water in it before heating is started. Heat the flask in a slow flame. Go on observing the level of water in the tube. Due to heating, the level of water in the glass tube rises up. This experiment shows that on heating the volume of gas increases. This experiment shows that on heating the volume of water increases. On heating the molecules of water get dispersed and start moving more rapidly. Thus water needs space to move. That is on that is as air expands when heat or heated water that is, air expands when heated water also expands on heating. Sister chapter, water find its own level. Water is a liquid. It has no shape. You put water into a vessel, cup or container. Water make its, water make its shape. That is, when you put water in a glass, the water takes the shape of glass. When you put water into a big vessel, it takes the shape of big vessel. Take a plastic bottle, cut both the ends, then the bottle takes the form of cylinder or pipe. Keep the plastic pipe in a, in a vessel containing water. Hold the pipe and go, go on putting water, uh, water into the vessel. Then observe the water level inside the pipe. Inside the pipe as well as outside. The water level inside the pipe and in the vessel remains same. Thus, water has its own level. Seventh chapter. Stirring makes object to dissolve in water yearly. Take two glass tanks, fill them with water. A sugar bowl is dropped into the tank heap. It dissolves slowly and ultimately disappears. Drop another sugar ball. Drop another sugar ball in tank B. Ball into tank B and go on stirring with stirrer. The sugar ball dissolves quickly. Water breaks sugar crystals. The particles mix with water. Salt, potassium, permanganate and other ob objects dissolves in water. The water in which an object like salt or sugar is dissolved is called solution. Sugar crystals or salt crystals are colorless. Therefore, it is very difficult to assess how they break up in water. Take potassium permanganate. Its crystal has color. Drop them in glass containing water. Notice from near. The crystal starts dissolving. 
potassium permanganate mixer mixes with water around the crystal the water becomes colorful hence here also if you take a stirrer and stir it the crystal dissolves early eighth chapter does protein dissolves in water eighth chapter does protein dissolves in dissolve in water protein give, gives energy to our body Every cell in our body contains varieties of protein. Example, alumina, alumin, casein, etc. The egg we eat contain alumin and the milk we drink contain casein. Take two different test tubes, fill half of the half of them with water. Take two different proteins. Put one protein in one test tube and another other in the other test tube. Stir both the both the test tubes. If the foam does not appear, the protein is dissolved in the test tube. If protein do not dissolve in the cold water, heat water, then protein dissolves. Ninth chapter: Very small insects. Very small insects easily moves on the surface of water. Take a big vessel and keep it on the table. Fill the vessel with water. After the water becomes st- becomes still carefully placed on a length. After the water becomes still, carefully place a literally a lengthy needle on the surface of water. You will be surprised to see the needle floats on the surface. Or you take a tissue paper. and float it on the water surface of the water keep the ne- keep the needle in it as soon as the paper comes into contact with water it drops the needle with will uh, it draw it drowns but needle will be floating the water surface acts as a thin film it is known as surface tension the molecule in water attracts each other compared to molecule below the surface the molecule on the surface are attracted by one another one another more this attraction and forces relates avoid related avoids the needle to sink into the water in the same attraction creates a film and prepares a type of platform on which small insects can move easily So very small insects thus moves on the surface of the water. Chapter 10 Ice is a form of cold water though it is in solid form. Ice is a form of cold water though it is in solid form it floats on water. How is it? Water in solid form is ice but it is just water. Nothing is added to it or removed from it. The most what the mass remains same it appears the it appears the volume has been has become more any object whose density mass per mass per unit volume is less than the density of water floats on water the density of ice is less than the density of water the density of ice is is less than the density of water floats on water therefore ice floats on water you can try also you can also try this experiment take a tub of water get some ice bits from your refrigerator and leave them in the tub they float notice it cold water is heavy but although ice is solid it floats on water chapter 11 lichen moss collects on well water more number of wells are digged in vis- villages cities also you find well- wells during the days of scarcity for water if there are wells they enable us to get water if a well water is being continuously used we do not see any lichen any lichen or green plants in the well but if we do not use well water there will be a growth of lichen which is collected in a short period the water 
the water in such well low screen. You may observe this is effect by doing a small experiment. Pour little water in the bottom of the jar with a large mouth. Let the mouth be kept open. Leave the mouth be kept open. Let the mouth be kept open. Leave it for some days. Observe after a couple of days. You would see the growth of moss and water turns into green color. Lichen is very small plant. It has no root, stem, leaves or flowers. The seed particles of the lichen, lichen settles on the moist ground and grows. You may see such plants in several places in raining seasons. The well gets water from the, the, from the spring underground. If the water is regularly used, the fresh water is made available. Even the lichen grows, it will be carried away. The lichen will not settle. Instead, the water becomes still. Lichen is formed on the surface of the water and water gets turned into green. Such thing you can observe in your home, houses. Suppose you do not use the water in a drum or tank or a bucket, there will be a sort of, sort of formations of scale of dust. 12th chapter, Pascal's Law. When uh, external pressure is exerted on any, uh, any uh, part of a liquid, the pressure is equally distributed to all the part of the liquid. This is, this is Pascal's Law. Pascal's law. Brahman press, uh, press uses the same principle. It has helped to reduce the volume of cotton balls, cotton balls, cotton bales. Uh, by doing a small experiment, you can understand this law. Take an empty hard tube and fill it with water. Take four matchstick with the, with their top removed and put them in the test tube. Observe that they are floating. Match a ball, uh, match a balloon or a cotton cloth on the mouth of the test tube and tie firmly with your index finger. Press the mouth of the test tube. Now you 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 are exerting pressure on the water inside. Then you observe the matchstick sink into the bottom of the bottom of the tube. Now, uh, bottom of the test tube. Now you are exerting pressure on the water inside. Then you observe the matchstick sink into the bottom of the test tube. Suppose you are you remove index finger, pressed in the balloon, the matchstick comes up. Analyze the experiment. When you press the sphere, balloon, you had put pressure on the water. Due to the pressure on, uh, due to the pressure, a small quantity of water rushes into the minute pores of the matchsticks. There, the uh, minute pores of the matchsticks that are increasing their weight, they sink into the water. But when you remove the finger, the water enters into the pores of the matchstick, comes out, and they become light. So the stick starts coming up to the surface of the water. Know these facts. Water boils at 212 degree Fahrenheit or 100 degree Celsius. Uh, of our total body weight, 30 percentage is made up of water. 75 percentage of newborn is water. Every day our body replaces three and a half liters of water. There are two types of water, namely soft and hard water. We shall see chapter 3 in our next video. Thank you.